Uh, how about some show feedback from last week? Sure. Doug Freeze has to say, glad to hear Shipwreck made it out to Pinsonetti. I was here. Did you just have a stroke reading that? I did. I did. Leave me alone. It's late. <laughs> I was there from 8.30 the day before the day the show started until 10 p.m. on Sunday after the show closed. I did not see him at the show as he seems to have been there during my hungover recuperation hours. Next year's show has already been confirmed and I'll be sure to send Shipwreck a reminder. Let's get the whole CAG crew there. The hotel has a nice, sizable restaurant bar area where a CAG meetup could take place 2019 dates are 11 22 to 11 24 same location east gate holiday inn let the hype begin so what do you say cheapy me and you we take a trip to cincinnati and we could stay at the east gate holiday inn <laughs> isn't that the uh isn't that thanksgiving i think so <laughs> i don't think that'll work i don't know if it's like <laughs> we'll, we'll sure, look into it I'm, I'm sure that's a different it's probably no thanksgiving next year is like the last Man, it's there's not much time ne- next year between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Oh, let's see here. Thanks, because I'm I'm gonna plan this trip for you guys. Oh, <laughs> I I do like pinball. It's the 28th, so it's okay. the following week. Hmm. The following week. So hmm. so you guys would probably cheapy. You'd probably have off work. That <laughs> I think I think it's safe to say that cheapy will be off work the 22nd through the 24th. Although isn't that a weekend? Yeah, it's a weekend. Yeah, so fly in like I could. I would fly in say that Friday. Oh, you and Cheapy aren't going to go on a road trip? No. It, oh, you mean we're going to drive in? We'll drive on. We'll drive oh, on Friday. Wow. <laughs> we'll take my car. We'll take the Fiesta. Wow. No. <laughs> I think that'll be a good time. I think set up a dash car. Cam. That way, everybody. Would can... that be? It's, it's like because I've driven. <laughs> I've driven from Long Island to Cincinnati before. Um, it's what is it like eleven hours or so, something like that. I've been, oh, yeah, no, fuck course. that! Are you kidding? Yes, We're of not... course I'm kidding, you idiot. <laughs> oh. Do they have like a romantic train that we can take? <laughs> That's different. I'm sure there's an Amtrak that stops in Cincinnati. All right, Shipwreck's gonna make it happen. Sure. Mm-hmm. You you don't even have to stay at the Eastgate Holiday Inn. You could. Well, you have cats, so yes, I do have to stay at the Eastgate Holiday Inn. Oh wow! Nice. I, we also have Benadryl. I would be dead by the morning. It wow. really wouldn't be a good look. <laughs> hmm. I have a yeah, tent. No, no. How about a tent? Huh? A tent in the backyard? That's a possibility. Okay. As long as my throat doesn't close up in the middle of the night, I'll, I'll be fine. Oh. So, yeah, I'm <laughs> fine. As long as I don't die, I'll be fine. Is what you yep. just said. Yeah, basically. <laughs> as long as I don't suffocate, I'll be fine. Yep. Me and cat. I, it's not that I don't like cats. I just can't be in the same room as one. <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> Read some more show feedback before I giggle more. Fine. I know. Making fun of me is your hobby. <laughs> uh, Solo Skywalker says, I rarely agree with Wombat, but he's right about Cheapy's kid probably going off the rails in college. Seen it happen many times. Maybe let him make some of his own choices, set his own limits, make some mistakes, and learn some time management. That being said, I don't know shit about kids. <laughs> and, <laughs> Thank you. And then Thank Jay you. Avery has to say, uh, not necessarily. Kids need to learn boundaries and take care of responsibilities. So being a little on the strict side seems okay to me it's not like the rule is no video games and based on past cat cast ties probably getting plenty of exposure to all sorts of stuff we try to limit video games in my house we mu- must have all homework finished room cleaned etc before playing but we don't restrict to certain days of the week honestly during a school week by the time everything is done there's only about 30 minutes to play before bed that sounds about right in my house too a little sidebar, if that. Right. So it seems fine to me. Also, no one knows what the F they are doing as a parent. So as long as there is some structure, it's probably okay. That is also true. The, the, what happened was we said to him, look, if we finish all your homework and everything, you can play games. And what would happen is he, say, he would say that he finished all of his homework but, and that he would play games. And the reality is he didn't actually finish the homework. And this kept happening over and over again. So eventually we had to just say, okay, just (laughs) on nights where there's homework to be done, you can't be playing video games. And that's sort of what's still happening. (laughs) 
I, I get it. But the thing in my house right now is Sabrina has, um, what does she have? She has all county chorus. And she's supposed to memorize these five songs, which she has not done yet. So that's the big thing. It's like, why have it? Well, you need to listen to these songs. You need to listen to the songs. Even if you don't know all the words by heart, because she still has like two months. I'm like, you should at least know the songs. Sure. Yeah. So unfortunately, they're not like standards or pop songs. It's like classical singing. So it's sort of hard to. Mm, Like Aerosmith. Yes, it's Aerosmith. It's Dream On. Mm, that is a tough one. It is a tough one. So, but, you know, so I get it. It's like, why don't, so now it's like you can listen, if you listen to the songs, then you yeah. can play something or watch something. Yeah. But, so one, what? One upside of not letting the kid play games during the week is that you know on Sunday morning, I can sleep as late as I want because he's going to play those games until I actually, he stops around, I would say 11 by, by 11. He's like, yeah, I'm getting, I'm ready for lunch probably soon. And my eyes that's, hurt. That's Elliot on Sunday mornings too. He'll, he'll come into our room and he'll actually try to, and he'll crawl into our bed and I'll actually say to him, it's like, and it's like every time it's like, it's always new to him. You know, you could be watching YouTube in your room. I can? I'm like, yes, go watch YouTube in your room because it's Sunday morning and I don't want you in my bed. <laughs> oh, you're saying he doesn't come. He's, yeah, he goes yeah. into your room first. Yes, he goes into my room first, into my bed, crawls on top of us. No. And I'm like, ugh, why don't you, why don't you watch, uh, Bill, he likes Bill Nye the Science Guy on Netflix because that's all the old episodes there. I'm like, why don't you go watch some Bill Nye in your room? I could do that. I'm like, yeah, go have fun. Hurry. <laughs> Hurry. Run. Run. Exactly. Poor Mrs. GB has to make the, the bento box on sat on Saturday mornings. So she's gotta wake up just like a regular work day for her. So Sunday morning is the only day she doesn't have to wake up at six. Well, she can't make it the night before? No. Can't. And it, can't? You know, I mean you can, but like a a Japanese woman is not gonna do that. Yeah. Yeah, she's not a Japanese woman anymore. She's an she American is. now. She, she's she's not. <laughs> she's got a green card, but she doesn't. Yeah, she's an American that's, now. Doesn't mean she's American. Got to naturalize that lady. I can't. I'm trying to think of an analogy uh, to making the bento the night before, um, but I can't. I can't come up with anything. <laughs> all right good night everybody <laughs> no i mean it's just good <laughs> i don't know it was like disrespectful i guess you know like the rice would be bad I don't know. it's rice it'd be fine but your definition of rice that's fine and a, an asian person's is very different you calling me racist no, that's not nice that i know i'm just How saying dare you i'm saying for most american people Yes. They're just a different idea of what rice is supposed to be than an, an, an Asian person. I mean, I get it. If you're going to make your son go to school on a Saturday, he might as well have a decent lunch. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but but I do know that some of the parents phone it in. Mm-hmm. See? Because one of the kids left the, uh, left the bento at school and they, and they gave it to Ty to bring home or something. And it was mac and I saw there was mac and cheese in there. Ugh. How dare Ugh. they? What is wrong with these people? <laughs> That's like, Ugh. Ugh. That kid Don't. probably ate that in the corner with oh, his back to all the oh, other kids. Next you're going to tell me the one kid had a Capri Sun and I may vomit. <laughs> no respect. I don't know that they're allowed to bring Capri Sun, to be honest. I don't know. I don't know. And I remember when in Japan you were only allowed to bring water or tea. Like, you know, just Mugi Cha specifically, mm-hmm. which is a barley tea with no sugar in it. Lovely. Strict. Mm-hmm. Sounds fun. See, that's why that's why Ty doesn't complain, I think, about the video games. You know, just it's still better it, than Because it, it could be Saturday. Because it could yeah. be, no, because it could be, <laughs> he could be going to a school where when the teacher's talking, you have to sit with your hands on the desk and your back straight. 
and look directly at the teacher and not move around at all. And it's just everything is so rigid. You have to eat all your lunch every, and you have to get the school lunch and you have to eat all of it or, or you can't go to recess. Yeah, I still don't I still don't get that whole idea. That sounds that's child abuse. But anyway, go on. It but it's not apparently it's not except for the kid who didn't like squid and he threw up everywhere. That was that Yeah, was no, that's, of, that's 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 that legitimately like child. Did abuse. he get to go to recess still? <laughs> that I don't know. I'll ask Ty if he remembers that. I don't know. He has good memory. We'll see. So I think honestly I think like he he in the back of his mind he knows like hmm still a lot a lot more, you know, lenient here. He doesn't have to carry that gigantic backpack with all of his books in it back and forth to school. I think that was crazy. Yes. That was like a bowling ball. That's uh, my daughter's backpack now is like that, actually. <laughs> well, they make the kids carry these big binders, I think. Mm. Do, do, does your school do that? The, the huge, like, uh, three ring binders, like the biggest ones. I don't know what she sell. has in there. You know what she has? She has a really heavy, you Bricks. know, like these are the like problems that really aren't problems, but she has a giant iPad they give her. <laughs> and it's like the heaviest iPad I've ever seen. It's got this cover on it, it's like made out of an old tire. Oh, for protection? Yeah. And it makes the thing so damn heavy. It's, it's this solid a solid rubber. View. Huh? It's not yeah. a Samsung Galaxy View. No, it's not. It's an actual Apple right. product. It right. just, but it weighs like three hundred pounds, and I'm like, this is ridiculous. 